Yes, guys, PTTP here again. We are now in Forest Gate. We are here at Forest Gate Police Station. It's just across the road there. Let's go check it out. So it's been a bit of a mixed bag today. Uh, the worst one by far has been Chadwell Heath. Bishop's Gate was good. Uh, Ilford was pretty good, to be fair. Let's see what we get here. Sorry if you hear some slurping noises, I'm just drinking soft drinks, I might add. Best not to be intoxicated while doing this job. So this is what you can see so far, with a bus driving past it. So quite a nice building. Let's hope the staff are as nice as the building looks. So I don't know if the camera just picked that up. We just had a police car swing around the corner with his blues on and then pull into the station. So I hope it was an emergency. He wasn't abusing his blue lights to get around any red lights because he didn't want to get stuck in traffic. So that's the ridge, BX21 AXG. So it doesn't look like they've got um, a tap in system here, like other stations. I think he has to wait for somebody to let him in. Maybe he has to radio through and then be let in. Who knows? So yeah, we've headed uh, straight here to the back gate of the station. He's uh, talking to somebody on his radio, I can see in his wing mirror. So I forgot his card, so his colleague just swipes him in instead. I forgot my card, can you let me in? Oh, we've got one in, one out. As soon as I pull out, stuck in traffic. It's interesting though, just uh, tell his colleague that he's got his card and just gets let, swiped in. After swinging around on blues, didn't look like there was anybody in the back of his car that he was bringing in on an emergency, so 
I wonder what the rush is to get back to the station, what the state of emergency was. So uh, that's a memorial there for the glorious dead K Division of the Great War of 1914 to 1918. The following officers gave their lives. You can pause and read that at your whim if you wish to. Uh, I think we've definitely just had a um, snitch alert. I saw a woman kind of coming down by the gate here. And then, as she saw me, turned around and went back. That'll be interesting to see. So, uh, got forensic services van, got a Mercedes riot van, the Met Police. A few more vans up there, and uh, a few other marked vehicles at the back. They all look like forensic and support vans, sort of things. So not a huge amount of actual marked operational units. Obviously, they've been spotted by uh, a couple of people. That bloke should see me there as well. There you go. Police riot van. So uh, yeah, this one's uh, pretty well hidden. The gates on that are obviously see-through, but got a wall all the way up and around that you can't see. Yeah, you can't see over it, it's all barbed up and around as well, apart from that section there, for some reason. Maybe we'll get some more shots of some vehicles coming in and out. Uh, he spotted me. Keeps looking over. Wonder if he'll approach. He's definitely talking to somebody. Somebody in a white shirt. Let's see how this one goes. Hello, Not bad. Yeah, I'll take Hello. Hello. Uh, auditor. Pardon? You an auditor? Uh, just taking a video of the station. Yeah. Fair enough. But it's a. Uh, just curiosity, what would an emergency be for somebody to be coming into the station on blue lights? Coming into the station? Yeah. Oh, could be someone being attacked in the station. Yeah? In somebody just been attacked in the station in custody? If there was, I wouldn't be able to say. No? Why? Right, somebody just come in. Yeah. Swung, swung around that corner on blue lights, as soon as you turned the corner, lights went off and then swung into the station. Oh, I have literally no idea. No, 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 that's fine. I've got the regiment on here and that, um, but... 
just found it a bit odd that you know light goes red and then all of a sudden light uh, i didn't see the lights go on he'd come around on the lights and then as soon as he's turned the corner they come off and the guy was in here he didn't look like he was in a huge rush getting in um but fair enough um if a member of staff pulled up and they forgot their id card what would be the procedure for them getting in um you check their id the yeah but well, what if they haven't got their id on them uh, well we know them or don't know them either or well if i know them yeah personally yeah I yeah know who it is, I yeah 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 Okay, interesting. Again, same officer, uh, same constable, sorry. Uh, came up to the gate, so again, I followed rounds and that, and he's waiting there, waiting there on his radio. Somebody comes out of here in non uniform, um, and he shouts over to him, Sorry, mate, I've uh, forgot my ID card, can you let me in? Didn't ask any questions. Again, he might have known him and might have just let him in, you know, but just uh, out of curiosity, just to let you know that, again, that officer didn't have their ID card, so it might be something to make sure that they have. Do you describe them? I could have gone and asked Ooh, them. Um, tell you what, if I start recording on my other phone, I'll turn this one off to show you the reg number. I'll check to tell you the reg number. So, let me just... Uh, right, so guys, it's going to get a bit messy on the video because obviously I've only got two hands. Um, Can but, I help you? That's okay, thank you. Messy on the video because obviously I've only got two hands. Um, Can but, I help you? That's okay, thank you. So we've got that one, let's go to there. So it's just, uh, as long as the audio is on it, it's the uh, main thing that matters. Let's press play. Well, let's swing around. Do, 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 do. So we've got BX21AXG. That's it. That's the vehicle there. Is that the one that had the blue lights on? Yeah, the blue lights on as he on came round the corner and uh, yeah, didn't have his ID card as he went in. Uh, oh, the officer in the vehicle? Yeah, the officer in that vehicle, yeah, the driver. Um, he was uh, the only one in the unit. Okay. There we go, so that one's now recording again, so, I can, so that one's now recording again, so I can stop this one. I'll go have a word with him anyway, but, but yeah. find out who he is anyway. But yeah, yeah, that's grand. All right. Um, but yeah, that's it. All right, no worries. No worries. Thank you, yeah, no problems. Cheers. Oh, sorry, there's one more thing. Yeah. You just uh, identify for me. Yeah, Sergeant Christian Hoffman, yep. 117 NNE. You can see it on my shoulder. Perfect, thank yeah. you. Appreciate that. No Lovely. So, get a sergeant come out, very respectful. Um, raise that issue with the constable. Hopefully, he'll go and deal with that and check what he was coming around on blue lights for. But yeah, straight away, uh, no issues with um, you know why I'm recording or not asking for my name, ID, nothing like that. So very respectful. Pre That's what you get from a sergeant. Ideal. That's if that's the example that's being set for the constables, and that's a great start for Forest Gate. Sorry, I'm after you. Uh, this one is a forensic services crime scene investigation one. So that's cool. They're off to investigate a crime scene, dust for fingerprints, look for hair. Hey, maybe they're going to Chadwell Heath to uh, see if I left any DNA, who knows? So I think that was the constable that snitched on me, the bold one in the distance. The sergeant's talking to him and he looks like he's trying to explain himself. So that's, uh, that's good. Afternoon, PCSOs. Hello. How are you doing today? How are you? Yeah, not bad, thank you.
Uh, uh, yeah, I had a couple of PCSOs, no bother. There we go. PCSOs let the sergeant know. Sergeant let him know that uh, I'm okay. Right. Yeah, all uh, good. And yeah. he has his ID on him. Yeah, yeah. Just because he doesn't work in this station. Okay. He doesn't work on, he doesn't work on Ah, is that what it is? Okay. Yeah. No worries. So if he doesn't work at this station, should that other member of staff let him in without checking his ID? Still, though, I mean, it's just. I would be happy with that. Yeah. I'll be honest, if someone's gone to the hassle of managing to go full uniform and get a marked vehicle. Yeah, yeah. A little bit of plastic isn't probably going to do. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Uh, did you ask about the blue lights? Not yet. It was the same vehicle. So. Yes, it was. Yeah, the same vehicle. So if you could just check on that for me, and uh, that'd be grand. Right. Appreciate it. Yeah, very, very lovely sergeant here at Forest Gate. Very impressed with uh, that interaction, I must admit. Um, hopefully he's going to go back and check why our officer was on blue lights coming into the station. Hopefully he'll get back to me on it. Maybe he's not a liberty to say. appreciate that the sergeant is acting well within his oath, being fair and impartial, getting both sides of the story, and actually genuinely taking up a complaint from the member of the public and challenging the PC on it. So, it's not something you see all that often. The PC doesn't look too happy about it. Uh, we'll, uh, This is why we ask questions. If it's legitimate, it's legitimate. But you know, when things are suspicious, the police are the first ones to ask questions. So when things are suspicious to us, we should be allowed to ask questions as well and challenge. At the end of the day. Ooh, another nice Bentley going past. Oh, I got a Pooch in that one. But I think the sergeant seems to have uh, gone back inside, so I don't think he's going to come back out and explain to me whether or not that officer was on blues or not. Just, uh, I mean, like he was on blues, but whether or not he was justified on his blues. But the sergeant does seem fair and practical, so. If he wasn't on the blues uh, justifiably, I am confident as much as I can be with the police that the sergeant would have made sure that he's aware that that's unacceptable. And, uh, Yeah, so I don't think a sergeant's coming back out on that one. I think that's one we're going to be left wondering on. But, you know, he came back and uh, let me know about the ID situation, which was nice of him. He didn't have to. Uh, but, you know. But so far, so good on the uh, constables. You know, the only one that we've had is... Uh, 
the we had the PCSOs let the sergeant know what I was doing, and the sergeant said, "Yeah, he's all right. Don't worry." So that's always a good thing. And, uh, Hopefully the constables aren't coming to me after the sergeant's just been. No, I think they're going to the van to... You did not audit me? Yeah, boy. Nice. Cheers, man. Go. We've got some action, we've got some blues. You know. Love it when you get a shot of a vehicle coming out on blues. It's always an interesting one. Yeah, so it looks like, you know, good leadership in steels, good following. Um, the sergeant here obviously has his wits about him, knows what I'm here doing, what I'm up to. And that shows in the reaction or lack thereof that we get from the constables. The police constables, oh, they're all constables technically, they all hold the office of constable, regardless of their rank. And... Uh, so that one's ANPR fitted as well. Again, they do have signage on them. I don't know what that red one says. That's fitted with two batteries located in the luggage compartment area below the load floor area. Interesting. So that looks like quite a busy station. There's a lot of in and out here. And, uh, so this is the one that came in on blues, now comes out on blues. So yeah, that's an interesting one. But So lots of nice shots of vehicles in and out. I like it. So they're going out one non uniform, oh, both non uniform, but with cameras on. So I'm guessing that'll be an unmarked police vehicle. So they're using a Honda, I think, or is that Hyundai? We'll have a look at the back, we'll find out. Um, yeah, both non uniform police. Uh, non uniform but wearing body cams that everybody knows uh, the ones used by police. It is a Hyundai, that one. I thought the more italic H was Hyundai. But other than that, looking at it, you know, from this sort of distance, I wouldn't necessarily know that, that that's a uh, 
unmarked police vehicle. So that's uh, always a good sign for them, not such a good sign for anybody who wants to drive recklessly or do illegal activity. It could be anywhere. Bit more activity coming out of this one than Ilford. Definitely a lot more brain cells in this one than there is in Shadwell Heath. And I'd say pretty much on par with Bishopsgate. So I'm actually inclined to give this one a five star rating. Um, I think they've got it on lock here. See, and that's how it goes. I don't hang around for too long. So I've been 14 minutes on this one, maybe another 10 to 15 on the other. You know, yeah, let's do a quick tour of the building, see what we can see. Blanked windows, whited up for privacy. The Green Street Elite. Uh, yeah, that's well good. always good guys make sure you've got a copy of your IMEI number for your mobile phone just in case uh, how's it looking in here yeah, there's a few people in there so what's going on there Very good here at Forest Gate Police Station. Love it. Awesome to see. So, so far, really, it's just Chadwell Heath that needs to get their shit together. You know, you had the. Uh, one numpty uh, Chadwell Heath who refused to verbally identify um, who was concerned and trying to make a thing out of me calling him a numpty but then whereas at Ilford I'm there swearing because it's not a crime to swear if it's part of your regular vernacular it's not a crime to just use it in a casual flow of a sentence but that part of your usual way of speaking it becomes a crime and use it in an abusive way not towards a police officer because as we know they have a th higher threshold than a member of, member of the public um, but yeah so stark difference stark so what I'm going to do now is head down to the British Transport Police Headquarters, which I think is down at Camden Town. Uh, so I'm going to head back down that way and check out what we've got going on down there. Uh, um, as always, like, share, subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. It's all right.